of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara. Like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara. To be king of the bush, his destiny. In the secret mountain veins, through the mist and ancient trees. Runs the ghost like horse so proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And the king, <laughs> yes, the king. harmony of the high country is often threatened by human intruders. And trappers cause more trouble than most, as Mopoke and Karawong found out. But luckily for the two unlikely cellmates, strange things happen everywhere. And the high country is no exception. Mopoke and Karawong were rescued from the trapper's cage by the same man who had been Thaura's greatest enemy and who had been determined to capture him. Mopo, who was blessed with manners and gratitude, unlike Karawan, took to keeping an eye on the man as a way of thanking him for his kindness. <laughs> I'm glad you come and see us. I really like your stories. And I like your cocoa, <laughs> but mostly your company. Tell us another story. Well, I don't know if it's really a story, but a strange thing happened today. I think that ghost horse is haunting me. Ooh. I was chasing after a chestnut. I would have got him too. He was slow and a bit thick and nowhere near the cunning the silver brumber used to have. And I was just about on him when another horse with a silver mane appears from nowhere, gallops alongside the chestnut, and they led me into the bush. Did you catch him? The chestnut? Oh, no. The darndest thing happened. I came across these birds, a mopoke and a currawong, caught in a trapper's cage. It's like the ghost horse had led me to them. What did you do? Well, I let them go, of course. Oh, they make me real mad, these trappers. Oh, I know I catch brumbies, but after a fair chase and a matching of wits, nature against nature. And I lose more than I win. But these trappers... Oh, don't talk to me about them. Greedy city folk who don't give a damn about the high country or its creatures. Yeah. Oh, more cocoa. Yeah, I don't mind if I do. Oh no, it's the trappers. Let's see what they want. See if we can be of any help. What? But Grandad. <laughs> he threatened us with a shotgun last time. He won't give us the time of day. He won't recognize us. Anyway, we're lost. Oh, good day, mate. Good day. Bit lost. We're bird watchers. Can't seem to find the track down to the Cascades. I hear there's some pretty good wildlife down there. So I've heard. Bit tricky to find that path. 
Just keep going along the creek, you'll see an old track, turn left, and that should point you in the right direction. Much obliged. <sighs> that isn't the way, Grandad. Yeah, isn't it? And here I've gone and given those nice bird watchers the wrong directions. Bird watchers. What do they take me for? I know those two rotten trappers anywhere. Dingoes last year, birds this world. I just saved them a lot of trouble, Charlie, and sent them on their way home. <laughs> <laughs> Do this, Karawang, do that, Karawang, lick my hooves, Karawang, ah, forget it. If you think your traitorous tempestuousness that you can leave me stuck in a cage and laugh at me after all I've done for... What? Oh, what kind of a creature is this? I'd slow down if I were you, mate. Just what I need. Backseat driver. I can see where I'm going without your help, mate. Thanks. <gasps> Blimey, that was a close call. I can see where I'm going without your help. Huh. I better do the driving, mate. Ah, oh, pipe down. Anyone can make an honest mistake. I'll just back up and we'll be as right as rain. Hmm, fascinating. Animal, mineral or vegetable? Hmm, what's in here, I wonder? <laughs> well, definitely not friendly, whatever it is. Must be stopped. Yuki, I must have misheard him. I didn't mishear him. We should have just asked for the route to the cascade, not the direction. Well, just cut across country and we'll see if we can find a track. What do you think I'm doing? <sighs> uh oh. It's heading for my master's territory, where the herd is grazing. Definitely, uh oh. Master! Master! Never seen anything like it, Mew. Oh, never. It is the colour of the sky, though. The colour of the sky is definitely what it is. And it's racing towards us. Racing towards us and about to hit us. What do you think we should do? Get, Get out, out of the way! And then this blue monster spat black smoke all over me. And then came screaming at me like a banshee. Stop digging your claws into my back. Ooh, whoops, sorry, mighty one. It's nervous tension, you see. Anyway, this huge blue monster... How big? Oh, huge. How big? Huge! <laughs> <laughs> You're a very stupid creature, Karawong. Of all the far-fetched stories you've told, this is the most ridiculous I've ever... What? It's dared to violate the mighty Brulga's territory. <laughs> See what I tell you. Go get him, flying phantom. Look at him go! Hey. Brave Herculean horse, Volnos, you can do it! <laughs> That's it, El Supremo, you've done it! Hooray! Last time my jeep went up in flames, now we get attacked by a crazy horse. Never should have brung the ute. Well, what'll we do now? Prefer pack horse, would you? And several weeks' journey through this hellhole country? Well, it might have been easier. This ute wasn't built for cross-country. Yeah, well, 
We're here now, and we're still going to find the Cascades. Let's just take it slowly and look for a track down. Hey, look what's coming. Oh, it's just a dopey old wombat. Nothing to get excited about. Out of the way. Out of the way, whatever you are. <laughs> typical, typical. I bet you had something to do with our burrow being swamped. Now go on, clear off. <laughs> Out of the way. Out of the way. Looks as though that dopey lump of blubber ain't gonna move. Yeah, well, <laughs> just start her up and edge forward, then we'll see it move. Good idea. <laughs> How do you like that? Where's that flaming gun of mine? Damn! Got away! My, how very surprising. Oh, yeah? Well, at least I got rid of it. More than you managed to do. No point in bickering, mate. Yeah? Well, what now, genius? Ah, oh, it's not a bad spot for a camp right here. There's a stream over there, ideal place to pitch the tent. We can set some traps, change the wheel, and move the ute next to the stream. Blue like the sky. And then it nearly knocked us over, quite out of control. Totally out of control. Quite a mystery, and it tried to run us over. Oh, no consideration at all. Not even a warning. Whoosh, bang, jump, by. Blue and big and fast. Oh, fast, very fast. Got me beat. Any ideas, Benny? Hmm, was it carrying any humans? Humans? Did you see any humans, Mew? Oh, humans? Um, uh, uh, oh, yes, -y, I do believe I did. Aha, uh -huh, now we're getting somewhere. And were these humans inside the blue thing? Uh, yes, I think so. Oh, uh, yes, -y, I believe they were. That's right. And there were round black things underneath. Round things underneath. Hmm. Yep, without a shadow of a doubt. Yep, the only shadow was underneath. Blue with round black things underneath. You got it. That's right. Hmm. Sounds as though we'd better check it out. Those men are the trappers who caught Mopoke and Currawong. Mopoke and Currawong escaped, but other animals might not be so lucky. If only there was some way we could make these trappers leave the high country forever. Mopoke! Mopoke! Oh, hi, Mopoke. We're just trying to figure out what to do about these intruders before they catch more animals. We'll start another bushfire. There are only two trappers and many of us. Perhaps for them we could make a fuss. Oh, I see what you mean. And you're right, as usual, Mopoke. Looks like we've got to organise the high country creatures so that they can defend themselves. It's always best to avoid a fight, but if the cause is just, it might be all right. <laughs> ah, yeah. There's nothing quite like a nice cup of tea. <laughs> You and your cups of tea. The last time you said that, you left the fire unattended and nearly cooked us alive. <laughs> and you burnt out half the high country. And that jeep of yours burnt to a what crisp. What do you mean I left the fire unattended? Just because it was my idea to have a cuppa doesn't make it my fault that you left the fire unattended. Hey, hang on a minute. If I remember correctly, it was you who lit the fire. No, I collected the kindling. Then you lit it while I filled the billy at the river, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, you filled the billy all right while I collected the kindling. Then you lit the fire while I washed out the mugs by the stream. Nah. I saw you washing the muds while I got the tea from the back of the jeep. Then you came back and lit the fire while I got the sugar from the tent. No doubt about it. Hey, before, you reckon that I lit it while you filled the billy. Now you're saying I lit it while you got the sugar. Make up your mind, mate. That's cos you took so long. I had time to get the sugar and fill the billy. You don't exactly move with the speed of lightning, mate. Oh, what rubbish? It was me who got the sugar while you lit the tea. No, nah, it was the sugar I lit, mate, while you emptied the river into the tea. Hey, you get the feeling we've been watched? Nah, 
Everything looks fine to me. Anyway, I reckon it's time we turn in. And this time, we'll make sure that my new ute doesn't get burnt to a crisp. enjoying the chance to get his own back on his captors. Everybody's moving into position. They all know what to do? I instructed them myself. Then everything will be perfect. I'll let Wombat know. Ah, let's see now. Are those trappers still hanging around making a pest of themselves? Hey, what's this? Not only have those intruders not left the mighty Brolkers territory, but they've dared to set up camp as well. This warrants further investigation. Hey, what's this? The pesky Thaura, also invading the Brolgas territory, is nothing sacred! Hey, and what's this? Wombats! Hey, and, and, and who's that over there? Ding! Hey! What's going on? And I'm the one doing the watching, yet I feel as though I'm being watched! Ah. What? what was that? How dare you defile my mouth? Oh, forgive me, oh sumptuous and saliverous one. Do that again, I'll feed your feathers to the fish. But, 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 mighty Brolga invaders into your territory. I've already given that, that, that blue contraption a thorough hiding. That'll do. But, sire, trappers, wombats, emus, dingoes, snakes, and, and, Thaura. <sighs> Are you saying that weak-kneed, soft-brained, pathetic excuse for a Brumby that avoids fighting me at all costs would dare invade my territory? But I saw him with my own two eyes. Oh, uh, along with trappers, wombats, emus, dingoes and snakes. Cross my heart, sire, and hope to die. Uh, I don't know whether to believe you, Currawong. Well, you didn't believe me about the blue thing, mighty monster masher. Uh... Very well, then. Lead the way. But if you're lying... No fear, sire. Karawong's word is his bond. <laughs> the hour has come, Thaura. All set? All set, Benny. <laughs> My country creatures, one and all, wreak your havoc, have a ball! Boop, 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 boop. Hey, what? Oh, Blimey, what's that? Oh, uh, so sounds like a flock of white and banshees. All right, Wombats, move in for mischief. <laughs> Hey, is that your foot moving around under the blanket? Hey, what would be foot be doing near me head? Well, I tell you, there's something there. Oh, it's probably that gun of yours. Where are those gang gangs? They should be here by now. That's no gun, it's moving, I tell you. Here they are, Benny. Right on time, as you arranged. Hey, I just felt it. 
That's slippery. Uh, it's a flaming snake! Uh, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh, help! Hey! Uh, uh, hey! Uh, hey! Uh, hey! What? Look! The ute! This way, magnificent maestro. They're just up here. You had the courage to jump, but the blue beast didn't. <laughs> oh no, me ute, me beautiful ute. Oh, don't complain. At least it didn't go over. <laughs> Get the radiator repaired and she'll be as good as new. Thanks, everyone. I think that's the last we'll see of those two. Hooray! Yeah! <laughs> All they came for was to trap and shoot. Now back to the city they must scoot. <laughs> Quite right, Mopo. Well done, everyone. Jolly good. And time to go back to our homes and a bit of peace and quiet. Hooray! Stow the crows. Look who's coming. What happened, boys? Where's that fancy ute of yours and your gear? Oh, don't ask. Where's the nearest mechanic? We want to get out of here. But you've hardly had time to take in the beauty of the high country. A lot to see and do, you know. Some other time, maybe. No other time. Just point us in the right direction and we're out of here forever. Oh, well, if you must, I suppose you must. Sorry the bird watching didn't work out. Now, Best way'd be over the shallows of the creek and then stick to the line of trees. That'll take you down to the gravel road. Probably hit you right there. There's a mechanic in the next town. Thanks, mate. <laughs> I wonder what happened to them. <laughs> Who knows? Couldn't care less they've gone. And for good. Good riddance to bad rubbish, I say. So the creatures of the high country once again managed to rid themselves of the trappers. But unfortunately, the trappers still had yet another bad mark to make on the lives of our friends. Thank you. 
It had been quite a few weeks since Baby Wombat had been rescued after his accident with the departing trappers. You can have too much of a good thing, I say. And he's had too much of a good thing, that boy of mine. <coughs> There's things to do, places to be seen, food to be eaten. About time he came home, I think. Hey, what? What? What's going on? Get out of it, you... Then a wombat's burrow supposed to be his castle. Wombat had a plan, a surprise for his son. Indeed, the whole family. He was quite excited about it. But of course, being Wombat, he couldn't possibly let on. Last try was hopeless, Baby Wombat. Try again. Hey! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do with you, Charlie. Laugh or cry. Sorry, Grandad. Baby Wombat kind of slipped. Looks to me, for a supposedly injured wombat, he was having too much fun. I reckon there's not a lot wrong with him now, Charlie. He's made a good recovery, and we should give him back to the bush. But it's great having him here. He's been fun. Yeah, well, it might be. But you're spending all your time playing instead of doing your chores. And he's getting too used to humans. Not good on either score. Eh? Hey? <laughs> well, looks as though the problem might be solved. Right, that's it, sunshine. Nothing wrong with you. Back home. Father, I've missed you so much. Yeah, looks like it. Now, come on. But, but I'm not really better yet. Don't try that one on me. I seen you playing, and if you can play, you can come home. Oh, please, Father. They've been so kind to me and... And what about your own mother and sister? <coughs> they aren't exactly cruel, are they? Mum? Oh, well, why, of course not. I just thought... Of... You just sort of forgot about them, didn't you? Pining away, wondering... If they'd ever see you again. I'm sorry. I missed them too. Right then. Move out. Baby Wombat! Leave him be, Charlie. His father knows what's best. We've done our bit. Yeah. Guess you're right, Grandad. Don't dawdle. Don't dawdle. What's the hurry? Well, if you must know, we're going away. Away? On a holiday. To visit our cousins up north. Get you away from them humans. And me away from all those pesky brumbies and nosy emus. Oh, yes, the sun is shining bright and my heart is feeling light. Hello, hello, hello. What's this? Hmm. Wombat's got his pesky kid back from the humans. It's a shame they didn't nab the old man as well. Hold it. Oof! I said hold it. Don't you hear nothing? But you said don't dawdle. Don't answer back. Now, pay attention. This log is covered in moss. It's long and slippery. I'll go first, and when I get to the other side, you follow. <laughs> Here's my chance for a bit of fun. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Ow! 
wise and feather brain. Typical, typical. Typical, typical. Right. Everybody, into line. Our northern cousins are awaiting our arrival. And we have a considerable distance to travel. So keep close, don't grumble, keep your eyes open for any tucker, and follow me. And good riddance to bad rubbish. If I were standing a bit further away, I couldn't see you. I'd think you were just part of the trees. Well, that's the secret, Eurala. If you don't want to be found by a creature who's after you, or if you want to creep up on a creature without being seen, you've got to look for cover that you can blend into. And move silently. <laughs> and move silently. You're learning well. Oh, thanks, Thaura. It's important to learn the tricks of the bush. My father, the mighty Yarraman, was the bravest and strongest king of the Cascade Brumbies. I watched him and learned. And my mother, Belle Belle, was wise and knew the ways of the high country better than any other Brumby I've known. Gee, I'm lucky having such a good teacher, aren't I? <laughs> I guess you are. But only because I was willing to learn. Oh, so am I. Well, of course you are. But it takes time. Oh, I know, Thaura. But I really want to learn. Ow! Out of the way. Out of the way. Come on, move it. Out of the way. And another thing that's important to remember, Eurala, is that while there are lots of wombats, <laughs> there's only one wombat. Oh, I heard that. Where are you off to, wombat? North, to get away from the flattery and the useless creatures that spend their whole lives getting in me way. <laughs> Have a good journey, then. Mm, I don't want one. I just want a holiday. Let's find a spot for some camouflage practice. But is it enough, Newt? Uh, enough? Satisfaction, enjoyment, sense of fulfilment. Ah! Oh, you mean life? Our lives? Yes, I think so. You? Yes. Well, maybe. Perhaps. Right, then. Ish. Well, we should do more. Perhaps. More out of the way. Wombats coming through. Wombats coming through. Oh, hello, Wombat. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Small world. Oh, you try to take a shortcut round the cliff face to avoid traffic jams and you run into two galumphing gossips. Block on the way. Out of the way. Get out of the way. I fear that might be difficult. Oh, possibly impossible. Can't even get away on a holiday without someone making life difficult. And nothing's impossible. Oh, but you see, Wombat, emus can't walk backwards. Oh, and there certainly isn't room to turn around. Oh, you're blocking me holiday. Get out of the way. A holiday? How wonderful. Tell us all about it. Can't, shan't and won't. No time for a chat. You two feather brains are supposed to be birds, so start flying. Oh, but we've been through this before. Emus don't fly. Just ask Mopoke. He says we're short of long wings, uh, aerodynamics and other things. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I simply don't believe it. Righto, family. 
forward. What do you know? <laughs> Emus can't fly. We're on the holiday. We're on the holiday. Very, very, very far, far away. Tra la 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 la. <laughs> no singing. Oh, Dad. Are we there yet? No, we're not. Now, just be quiet and enjoy the trip. It's very educational. How? It just is, that's all. <laughs> See? Told you. There's a mopoke. What's educational about a mopoke? Quite a lot, as you should know. My knowledge is portfolio. Oh, oh, oh no, not that mopoke. Would you like a little tip? How to make time pass on your trip? Oh, yes, please, Mopoke. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> this is my holiday, Mopoke, not yours. And I'll tell them what to do. With lively eyes, just look around. There's many wonders to be found. Your spirits will soar to magnificent heights as you absorb the wonders of nature's delights. Thanks, my poke. There's too much talking. And talking's not allowed on holidays. Nasty, mean, and often crude. That wombat's now just far too rude. <laughs> hey? What, what, what? Mm. What funny looking ants? Ants? Ants, did I say? Ah! Wombats. The whole family. What are they doing this far from home? <laughs> My dear friend, as I live and breathe, what brings you and your charming family to this neck of the woods? Friend, you think I don't remember that slippery log? That? Ah, oh, that was all a misunderstanding. I thought I saw a flea on your back and... Flea? The only flea around here is the one you have in your head, flea brain. Naturally, one is interested in the activities of one's friends, and I was simply curious that... <laughs> Revenge! I'll get those wombats back somehow. Huh? Now what have we here? Ah, a strange filly, a newcomer to the high country. Oh, the Brolga will certainly want to know about that. Ah! This would be right. This would be right. One more ridge after this one, and we'll be there. Uh, uh, haven't we been here before, Father? Been here before? What are you talking about? You've never visited the cousins before. Yeah, uh, but that pond... Nonsense! Lots of ponds look like that. I... I... <laughs> Well, well done, Baby Wombat. Well spotted. That's just a little trick of mine to see how observant you all are. <laughs> oh, be quiet, you empty-headed egghead. <laughs> right. Follow me. Mighty Bralga, 
spicy gossip. Eh? Strangers have entered your territory. Strangers? Who and what? Vicious, cruel wombats, Mercurial Magnificence. A whole family of them. Vicious, cruel... What are you talking about, Karawong? Since when have wombats been vicious and cruel? These are, sire, I assure you. You must crush the living daylights out of them with your mighty hooves. I'm beginning to smell a Karawong. Rat, I mean rat, Karawong. Do you owe them something you don't want to pay back? Oh, 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 oh no, mighty sire. I promise you, they're evil and mean and... <laughs> Don't waste my time with your personal vendettas, Karawong. If that's all you've got to say. Uh, but, 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 there, 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 there's the other stranger, sire. Huh? Other stranger? <laughs> A young Brumby, mighty Brolga. Oh, an ideal candidate for your herd. A young Brumby, eh? And you waste my time with rubbish about wombats? Lead the way! Aye, 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 Elka. <laughs> Uh -oh. A stranger seems to have come to stay, mainly because she has lost her way. <clears throat> her spirits are looking pretty low. I have a feeling Laura should know. <laughs> yeah, that'll be right. Another Brumby, another traffic jam. I'm very sorry, Wombat. I'm very tired and weary, and I didn't expect a family of Wombats to come along. Well, well, you should have. I've come such a long way, from the south, and uh, I'm a little lost. So are we. We are not. Is the south a long way? About four days gallop. Four days gallop? Now that is lost. Why don't you go back south and stop bothering us? Can't help you. I don't want to go back south. I'm searching for my lost brother. My father, the great Paleface, is sick, so he sent me to find the wise old kangaroo, Benny, who he was sure would be able to help me. Benny? Oh, we could help her find Benny, couldn't we, Father? No. We're on holidays. We're... I'd be very, very grateful for your help. Oh, go on, Father. She really needs our help. Please. Oh, all right. <clears throat> there you go. Taking advantage of me soft heart once again. <clears throat> well, we'll help young... young... Gunda. Yes, young Gunda to find Benny. Who needs a holiday anyway? Thank you, Wombat. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, the Brolga. Run for your life. Righto, family. Follow me. Go, mighty Bralga! Go! The brolg is now in on the chase. Thora! <laughs> What's keeping you, Brolga? Getting too old for a good chase. This time, Thora, you've gone too far. I am the king of the Cascade Brumbies. I have no time for your impertinence. And I have no time for bluster and bullying of innocent strangers. What? Who are you? Get you. 
you've outsmarted yourself this time, Thaura. You're not powerful enough to beat me, and you're never gonna get the chance. It's a long way to the bottom of that cliff. Prepare yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Where did the mighty browner get to? <laughs> Wombat, you're a real friend. Not that hell. You brumbies have spoiled me, Holiday. <laughs> A big welcome home to Wombat, a real hero. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Oh, well, that does it. Too much noise. Right, family, follow me. Bye, Wombat. At least I got to meet you, unlike the legendary Thara. Bye, Wombat. And you're a legend in your own time, too. <laughs> so some creatures of the high country had learnt a lesson. Despite Wombat's gruff facade, he was a brave and trusted friend. And the holiday had another good result. Gunda had certainly come to the right place to get help finding her lost brother. 